YouTube, what's up? Riz here back with some more team by team NFL mock drafts. Doing full seven rounds, and I'm giving you two options for each team. Going to be doing two to three teams a day, so watch out for those going in the draft order, obviously. So the Bears, we're getting into the Bears. First option for this mock draft, Jamal Adams, safety from LSU. If he's there, this would be a no-brainer pick for me. They need a safety, and he's my number two player on the board. Excellent player, can do everything. Went into depth about Jamal Adams in the past, so don't really need to do it now. Good pick. Second round, I have them taking David Njoku, tight end from Miami. Now I have him graded as a first round. He's in a lot of mocks in the first round, but there is a chance he drops to early second, and the Bears would not hesitate to take him. They need a tight end, and he is an excellent one. Can uh, has a lot of potential too. Can be, definitely be a Pro Bowl tight end. Now there is teams that I know will, won't touch a tight end in the first round, even if they need one. They they don't really believe in taking tight. They're not as high on tight ends as some other teams. Some teams like to use two. Now, so there is a chance Njoku can drop through the second round, and I, again, I don't think the Bears would even think twice about it. That would be an excellent pick. Third round, I've taken corner from UCLA, Fabian Moreau, who at one point got late first, early second, mostly early second um, talk. Got hurt his pro day, so that makes him drop a little bit. My money says he still goes in the second, but guys always drop, and he has an injury, so... This is definitely realistic, and it will be an excellent pick early th early third, and it will be a fill a need as well. Uh, fourth round, two fourth rounders for the Bears. I've been taking Malachi Dupre, LSU wide receiver, deep ball guy, downfield guy. I think, I think the Bears are missing a number one receiver. They have plenty of receivers, but I don't think they have a number one. They Some of those guys can potentially be a number one, but you really don't know. Also, with all those guys' injury, concerns I think you definitely need to try to find one here uh, Dupre is a guy I like a lot very underrated I think if he went in the third round it would not be a bad pick at all not at all and deep ball guy Mike Lennon is a deep ball quarterback so that could be a good fit uh, fourth round I've been taking Howard Wilson cornerback from Houston I think he's a third round talent he could drop to the fourth because of his strength and weight so that could be a steal there in my opinion uh, fifth round, I've been taking Chad Kelly, quarterback from Ole Miss. The Bears do need a quarterback. Mike Lennon will be the starter. Uh, Chad Kelly would probably be a third rounder, but off the field, field issues and minor injuries holding him back. So if that could be a good pick in the fifth round, a guy that actually probably can compete uh, in the near future, I would say. And seventh round, Chunky Clements, D lineman from Illinois. Uh, didn't get as many snaps as you like him to, but he's shown... He showed what he can do in those limited snaps, so I think that could be a guy. I think he's going to go late, but a, definitely a sleeper. If he gets a good amount of snaps, he possibly can do something. Kind of just adds to the depth for the Bears here in the seventh round. On to the second mock trap. Now, before I get into this, I did have Deshaun Watson as their first-round pick at, recently, and I switched it because I do not think they're taking a quarterback. I think Glennon's their guy. Do I think he should be their guy? No, but I think he's going to be their guy. And I don't think their staff wants to try to develop a quarterback. I think they'll be fired by the time they develop him if they continue these losing seasons. So they want to get somebody that's going to win now. So I ha I switched it to Jonathan Allen, D lineman from Alabama. Injury concerns could have him drop. The I heard the Bears really like him. They I think they prefer him over Solomon Thomas or maybe... It's not that. Maybe they think Thomas will be gone. I think Jonathan Allen is a fit. And maybe the Bears have written off his injury. Maybe they think he's good to go. And that could be the pick. Do I agree with it? I like Jonathan Allen, but I really, really wouldn't agree with it at the third overall. But that is a realistic option, so that's why I did it. In the second round, I have been taking Zay Jones, wide receiver, East Carolina. Again, I think the Bears need a number one wide receiver. Zay Jones can definitely be that guy, and he's one of my safer prospects in the draft. Really no weaknesses to his game. So with a lot of injury-prone wide receivers, they can use a guy like Zay Jones. Third round, I have them taking Nathan Peterman, who I hear they really like. Quarterback from Pittsburgh. Could come in there and compete. Uh, I personally have him graded as a fourth rounder, but I've heard second round talk, but possibly can drop to three, so I kind of split that my grade fourth round, possible second round, have him early third to the Bears, who again, I hear they like. 
So this is the problem with taking Jonathan Allen first. I love Jonathan Allen, great prospect, but third overall, I don't know about it. And I'm not really a guy that would that likes teams drafting purely off need, but it's not really a need, and that forces you to have your needs fall a little bit because they need DBs pretty bad. And here we are in the fourth round, and they need some DBs. The good thing is it's a good DB class. Fourth round, I have them taking Cam Sutton, corner slash nickel slash safety from Tennessee. Uh, definitely a sleeper. I think he plays corner at the next level, and I think he'd come in there and be the Bears' number two corner. Uh, Prince Mukamara was a good pickup, but he's only there for one year, and I think you need a better corner if you're trying to compete. I don't know if the Bears, I mean, they got to believe they're going to compete. but uh, So they need some more DBs in their fourth round. Other fourth round pick, I have them taking Tedrick Thompson, safety from Colorado, who is one of my sleepers, big-time sleepers. Um, playmaker, a lot of interceptions. I think it wouldn't be a bad pick if he went third round, but I think he goes four. Uh, needs to work on tackling, but I think it's a guy who can come in there and start for the Bears at safety. Fifth round, I have him taking Adam Shaheen, small school guy, tight end. Uh, they definitely need a tight end. They definitely made that clear. I think there's a chance he goes earlier than fifth. I have him graded early fifth, possibly late fourth. Um, so that could be an upgrade there. In the seventh round, I have him getting some old line at depth. Some people will consider McDermott uh, as maybe a fifth or sixth round. I think he struggles a lot, but definitely worth drafting for sure. That would be a solid pick in the seventh round. So that is my; those are my two mock drafts for the Bears. I think the Bears need to really, I think they need to trade back with their third overall pick. You look at the Browns and the Niners ahead of them, just, just one, the Niners one pick ahead of them, the Browns two picks ahead of them. They have a lot more draft picks. I know the Bears have... They have seven. That's like the average. But I think if you're picking three and you look at the Browns and the Niners, I think you need to go out and get more picks because I think, I think the Bears front seven is good and they don't really need running backs. But everywhere else, they have pretty big needs. They don't have a lot of needs, I guess, but big needs in some spots and in spots like corner or safety, mainly corner. Um, you need multiple of them. And if you take a guy like Jonathan Allen, in the first round and you don't acquire more picks you're kind of limited i only have them taking one corner they may need to get more than that so i kind of prefer the first mock draft where they get two corners and they also start the draft with a safety also get a solid they, they, i like the first draft better they fill needs better and in a greater value way if that makes sense so i prefer the first one there but that'll do it for the Bears mock. Stay tuned for the rest of the teams going in draft order. And then the teams with no first-round pick, they will be the last three, Rams, Vikings, Patriots. So stay tuned for all that. Please like and subscribe. Turn on notifications so you know when your team's seven-round mock is uploaded. That'll do it. Goodbye.